guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, um, I really felt like making gingerbread. I know that's kind of weird because it's not um, Christmas and the festive time to make gingerbread, but it's really cold outside. I got drenched on my bike on the way back home from uni and I just had this craving for gingerbread. So that's what I'm going to make. And this recipe has um, quite a lot of um, molasses. So if you don't know about molasses, um, it's also called like blackstrap molasses, that's what it is. And it's, um, it says that it's made from sugarcane, the roots of the sugarcane are deep and therefore able to receive a broad spectrum of minerals and trace elements. It is the liquor left after the removal of the crystallized sugar. Um, this one says it's unsulfured blackstrap molasses and it's really good for you apparently, like I was reading about it. and. Um, you can use it as a topping for a lot of different things, but it's really high in like magnesium, iron, potassium, zinc, copper, um, calcium, like, so yeah, full of a broad spectrum of minerals. And to absorb the iron from this, I usually have it in the morning with like a glass of orange juice, because um, the vitamin C apparently is, um, is better for the absorption of iron. So yeah, this recipe has a bit of molasses, so if you don't like molasses, you're probably not really going to like this recipe. Although, you can't really taste it that much. So once it's cooked with like the brown sugar and the cinnamon and stuff, it's actually really delicious. And they're chewy cookies, um, slightly crispy on the top, um, and really delicious. So this is all the ingredients you're going to need to make them. Okay, so you'll need some molasses, um, some chaya seeds, this is for making the chaya egg. So, have this prepared earlier. Um, you'll also need some ground ginger, some cinnamon, um, a tablespoon of almond butter, I've got nutmeg in here, um, some coconut oil, some brown sugar, actually this isn't brown sugar, this is coconut sugar, but you can use brown sugar, that'll probably be even better. And then I've got some wholemeal white flour here, or you could just use regular white flour. And then in this little bag I've got uh, baking soda. So yeah, that's everything you will need. So I've got to say as well, I use um, a coffee grinder to grind up my chai seeds if I'm doing like a chai egg or a flax egg. But before I had a coffee grinder, I just used um, like a mortal and pestle and that worked fine. Um, also, chai seeds don't always have to be ground in order to get like the gluggy egg um, or frog spawny looking effect. You can just add chai seeds whole as is and add water and they'll still create that jelly. Um, but I find that grinding it up into like really tiny little pieces um, is better and it's quicker because yeah, you can get more of the effect in um, a shorter amount of time. Alright, so the cookies are finished baking and they're just on the um, uh, baking rack to cool and I'm just going to try one just to see, even though it's still hot, just to see what it's like. 
Mmm. It's really good. It's crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. It'd be really good with like a cup of tea. Mmm. Really good. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.